Hi folks, welcome back to the channel. I'm at my hangar at Orange County Airport. It's been a while since I've done a video because of work, weather, and getting my IFR stuff out of the way with my instructor. But today, my instructor will be with us flying along. We're gonna go to Columbia County, do a couple approaches, and back to Orange, go over some ground school stuff and so on and so forth. So Mike will be here shortly. And it's a nice day, it's a VFR day. It's some thunderstorms in the afternoon. Um, we'll be back way before then. So stick around and I'll see you guys in the cockpit. I know in like regular Garmin GPS's it's not as easy if at all you could set that up but in an FMS you could set up a hold anywhere it's awesome right any direction any fix I gotta do my open I gotta do my opener now welcome back to the channel what did you say it welcome back to the channel folks <laughs> I think this is my second time in a video with me I, is it really I think yeah I was in one it was you, Patrick, and I. I forget what we did, but... Sorry, that Patrick was with us. I know, right? I'm sorry, oh, folks. That's... It's been a hard... That must have been a, a hard video to watch. It was very difficult. Yeah. It was even difficult to edit that video. It must have been video. like an all-time low views. <laughs> all-time low. But Mike Mike is my instructor, and yeah. hopefully uh, we get signed off today. We'll see what happens. I don't mess anything up. Yeah. I'm, I'm used to doing that, messing things up. No, just kidding. Just make sure you put in the comments, keep the needle centered. <laughs> he'll, he'll appreciate that. <laughs> oh, man. Well, usually we go up, it's all kinds of bumpy and updrafts and downdrafts and all yeah. kinds of crap. Yeah, but following the storm that passed last night, it should oh be dead God. calm. That's crazy, right? Yeah. That was crazy last night. Yeah, power. the wind was pretty insane. I lost power for three hours. Did you really? Yeah. I oh. had, had my generator on. Crazy. Oh. Oh. So we're gonna to go to Columbia County, do an approach there. Um, they have three and two one, they're both RNAVs. Yep, yep. And I'll uh, get fuel, and then we'll figure out what else we're gonna do. Beautiful. As long as the batteries last me. Yeah, right. So, yeah, so the audio cable uh, that's plugged into the GoPro uh, for the audio for us talking, yeah. uh, there's another part of it that is you can plug in a source to charge the battery as you're, or charge it as you're flying. Here. Yeah, oh, or awesome. just use that without the battery. Oh, the awesome. problem I'm having is all this background noise. So I did four, four videos a week ago, a week and a half ago, and I couldn't use any of it. Oh. Hours of videoing and hours of this, I couldn't use any of it. Yep. Don't you just love the stupidest, when that stupidest things we do? Yeah. All right, these are all hooked up here. Okay. We're gonna do the checklist. Any Danny checklist? Right back with everybody. Okay, the checklist is complete. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna put in Columbia County. Uh, that's one Bravo one. That I do know. Okay, and then we're gonna activate the flight plan. Uh, we'll go up to three thousand five hundred there. Works for me. That's above everything. And with a zero four zero heading, we'll see how the winds are. We get up there. Um, check the weather when we get up, when we get over there. Yeah, they have an AWOS? I've never been to Columbia. They do. Okay. I think you've been there. Haven't you been there? No, no. Orange County, I've never landed 1B1. Keep that in there. Orange County traffic, 871 Lima Alpha, turning right base to 2 Orange I tuned it to the SL30, so we have the weather there. Look at the Orange County weather. 2, 1, Celsius. Altimeter, 2, niner, niner, 7. Remarks, density altitude, 1,300. Orange County Airport, Montgomery, New York. Automated weather observation, 1, 2, 3, 3, Zulu. Wind, 2, 4, 0, at 0, 8. Are you buckled in? Oh, yeah. Making sure. Sky condition, clear. You want to check again? <laughs> yeah. Temperature, 2, 3, Celsius. Dew point, 2, 1, Celsius. Altimeter, 2, niner, niner. All right, we're 
right, we've got the weather. You ready to go? I'm ready. I Drop think there's it. a guy turning base. I heard him. Yeah, there he is. Lane light's on, strobes are on, anti-vision light is on, fuel pump not yet, until this guy, oh, we'll see how far away he is. Oh, where's he at? Uh, he's about a mile base. All right, we'll wait for him. Uh, flaps are 15, mixture is not full rich, prop is pulled forward, so we'll do fuel pump, unless we can get out, now we'll wait. Orange County traffic, 8, so only a mile for turning final to 2 Orange County. Good. Orange County traffic, Mooney 8, so we're holding short 2 2 landing traffic, Orange County. It is a beautiful day. Yeah, it is. It's supposed to get thunderstorms later on this afternoon, I think, right? Some crazy stuff. Yeah. It's kind of normal, right? I think so. Um, yeah, just convective pop-ups. It's humid. It's hot. Yep. All the, the heat rises. The humidity builds. Yep. Orange County traffic got a helicopter three miles to the southeast. Inbound to left close traffic. Runway 26, Orange County. Orange County traffic, 8 7 one Did you just say 2-6? It's a, it's a helicopter. Oh, they always use 2-6. Okay. Yeah. Orange yeah. County, Diamond 8, Lima Alpha, turning right base, 2-2, two, two, Orange County. They usually, um, if we're using this, they'll use that. That's good. Oh. At least they're smart enough to, like, do that. Uh, he's probably going to be a uh, stop. Yeah. Actually, have one more taxiway between uh, County, Dominate, Lima, those two taxiways. Two, two, touch and go, Orange County. Oh, good. If fuel pumps come along, make sure full rich profits pull forward. Yeah, he's about a mile final. You got plenty of. All right, let's go. Orange County traffic. Many Ace of our taking two two for departure. Orange County traffic. We have the uh, lane traffic in sight. Hey, so I'm only a mile for upwind to two Orange County. Okay, we're all good. Flaps 15, fuel pumps on, make sure it's full rich, props fill forward, and we're good. We're looking for 16 plus pounds per hour. We're, we're good there. Speed come alive, looking for 60, 55, 60, rotate. What do you think of that takeoff? Beautiful. Glassy smooth. Here, coming up. People tell me why do you always put the gear up before ending the runway? It's because uh, the Johnson gear, so much easier to put it up under 80 miles per hour. That's why I do that. Yeah, yeah. Most gear has an easier time retracting at slower speeds. Orange County traffic helicopters entering a left base runway 26, Orange County. Orange County traffic, 87 Lima Alpha, turning right cross went through two Orange County. Great right, flaps can come up. And there's the diamond crosswind. Oh. I'm not, I won't cut them off, obviously. We'll go right behind them. And yeah, once we get out of the pattern, we'll yeah. go under the uh, hood. Who's oh, called me already? It's one of the mistresses. Traffic, Moody's right crosswind 2 2. We have the diamond in sight. We'll maintain visual separation. Orange County traffic. Looking good. Orange County, Diamond 8, Lima Alpha on departure runway 2 2. This plane is smooth, isn't it? This plane yeah. is just amazing. Moody, Moody's fly great. Probably one of the, the best Orange GA airplanes I've ever flown. 2 6, Orange County. Just until I get my Bonanza. Bonanza. <laughs> Hope you do get your bonanza. You've been wanting that for a long time. Yeah. Gone to his wake a little bit. Orange County traffic. Hoodies. Right base. 2-2. Two, two. Oh, correction. Right, right downwind. 2-2. Two, two, Orange County. It's Look hazy. Up. Hazy it day. It is very hazy out there, actually, towards the north. See how it goes. I can see the ridge over there. Oh yeah, visibility is, it's good, but you could definitely... Orange County traffic, we need to partner a pattern to the northeast, climbing through 1,700 and see you later. Okay, might just put my helmet on, where's that yep, at? I got it right there. Right, maybe just trip down a little bit. Your, your plane for a second? Alright, I got the airplane.
traffic down in 8 Lima Alpha, departing the area to the northwest, Orange County. Orange County traffic, 871 Lima Alpha, turning right base to 2 Orange County. Okay, my controls. Your controls. Yep, give me a new direct enter enter. And then fly me there. Hey, right, we're going. And remember those tools that you have on that CDI there. Yes. This airplane, these avionics are full of tools. It's, I tell you what, it's amazing what we're, we're allowed to use. Only miles to turn final to two orange counties. Yeah, I mean you're allowed to use it because it's what you're going to be using in the real world once you get the once you get the ticket. Seven touch four nine golf left downwind one way to eight Princeton. That is seventeen mile crosswind uh, again. <laughs> yep. West of the field. Uh, we have the traffic on the upwind site. We'll be maneuvering. Uh, With every like hundred feet, that wind goes up like a knot. Number two in the pattern. With the traffic. All right, if you took the fuel pump off, landing light is off. Gears up, flaps are up. Archer 400 Golf is going to be doing a short left base for 2-8, simulated inch down, for instance. Alright, so once we get up to cruise, we'll probably be close enough to at least maybe pick up their ASOS. We'll find out what the weather's doing. Yeah. Uh, Sometimes it takes forever to get it over there. Oh, really? Yeah, I don't know why. <laughs> Hopefully we get it at a decent time yeah. and uh, start setting up for that approach. Okay, at 200 feet to go, 3,500. Jesus. A 20 knot crosswind for the 313. <laughs> exactly a crosswind of 20 knots. Holy shit. 3500. Miles are clear, active to 2 Orange County. Orange County vehicles on runway 22 for runway check, Orange County. Oh, runway check on 2 2. Let's get her trimmed out here. Orange County Automated Advisory. Wind T10 at 7. Altimeter T9 or 9 or 7. Conditions favor runway T2. Listen for traffic. About a 3 1, 3 1, 3 2 heading. And our course is 042, that's how much we're crabbing. Yep, about 10 degrees to the left for that 20 knot crosswind. You can see that difference in heading and track there. The heading is the blue bug, and your track is that little tiny magenta carrot there at the yep. top. So keeping that in line with your desired track on the CDI is your ideal way of keeping on course. Amazing how it all works, isn't it? Yep. It's amazing how high tech radio check, radio these avionics check. are. It must be nice. I did mine all steam gauge with just the heading bug, so you have to actually change that heading bug if the winds change. Yeah. We, we never got a track indicator. Radio check, radio check, 38 Papa. Yeah. Check, check, I love I love the, the system, it's awesome. It really gives you a head start and everything, you know? Yeah. yeah. Once I get the autopilot, it'll couple with everything, it'll be really yeah. a lot of stuff off my shoulders. Yeah. Especially when you're an IMC. Yep. And your situational awareness. Yes. It's great right now with right. what you have, but with an autopilot it like nearly doubles, if not yeah. triples. Just because the workload is significantly reduced. Up to six. And that's not meaning that you're doing less work because the autopilot's flying the plane. It just means now you have more time to focus on maybe other things, briefing an approach, talking to ATC, getting the weather. Yep. Oh. 
Let's see if I could find out what their weather is by four flight. If I go to information and I go to weather here, it's not going to tell, they don't have their own weather there. Um, um, oh, they don't report me tars. Right, correct. That's correct. Now turning left crosswind. That's our left eight for two eight. Number two will be a low approach on. Up a little bit, uh, go down and correct it. 3,500. I went down to Camp May, um, drop off um, uh, Daryl to pick up his uh, truck and trailer. Nice. And I was doing. We, we filed to do a whole nine yards with him. Yeah, he's yeah. IFR certified, and everything else. Nice. And uh, we're doing 147 indicated down there. Uh, 7,500. Oh, really? 8,500 there, yeah. Nice. Indicated or true? True. I'm sorry, true. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I was going to say. Sorry. This battery is more organic. Yeah, this thing gets an, a pretty good true for the fuel burn. For a Ranger, too, you know? Yeah. Everything yeah, Patrick Smooney was, when he came back and forth to and from Arizona, yeah, he's burning them like seven gallons an hour. Get up he was, high. Yeah, he was he was high because you're burning about 10, 11 right now, but we're low. Oh, um, I have 24, 24 and a half, so yeah. I'm we'll pushing it. He likes to fly fast. I don't know. I don't know. What to, I don't know what to say. Yeah, the Moonies, they are not a slow airplane. They just get up and go. The only thing is the the ceiling's a little bit short. Yeah, oh, it, looks, I mean, it, it appears to be small here, but believe it or not, uh, you know, door to door, I mean, shoulder to shoulder, look, we got room. Yeah. It's about You're, the same as other planes. The problem is it's a little bit smaller up top. Yeah, I'm actually shoulder to shoulder with Jonathan <laughs> when we fly that 150. Oh, yeah. Yeah. You actually have to like the person you're flying with <laughs> in an airplane like that. Dude, I used to love flying that 150 yeah. when I was training. Oh, my God. My private? But 40 flaps and he doesn't come down like stick this. It's like, oh, a, yeah. it's like a parachute. Yeah. Yeah. Once you get go full flaps in the 150, it, it falls out of the sky like a rock. Good hazy views of the Hudson River. Oh, I can't see shit. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's the point. That's, That's the, point. the point. I gotta tell you, we flew IMC um, to, where do we go? To um, Nantucket? Nantucket. Yeah, we went to Nantucket. Right in the clouds right away here in Orange County and all the way there. When, I, cause you, when you have your hood on, you know, it's like, okay, if something happens, I can look outside. Yeah. But when you're an IMC, it's like, okay, you got to, like, yeah, there's, there's no turning back. There, there's almost no outs. But yes, there's yeah. no turning back. That's why I told you, watch me, this is my first time in this. <laughs> and we got into rain, and we were down uh, the minimums over there. That was awesome. Yeah, but you did great. I couldn't believe it. You flew that great. You were, you were nervous, like you said, in the beginning, as soon as we popped into the clouds. But uh, after, like, two seconds... I think you said that went away and you were yeah. just flying the airplane. All you gotta do is listen to ATC and follow what you're doing. Yeah. But it was really cool with the approach over there because uh, when they said, the tower said that the, um, what was it in front of us? It was a Cirrus that was at yeah, minimums. Yeah, it was a Cirrus. So we got down and this plane said minimums like right there as a runway. Yeah. That was really cool Exper yeah. experience. Yeah, everybody remembers their first down to minimums experience. Because normally we, we try to plan where we don't even go to minimums. Right, right. We don't want to. You don't want to push the limit sure. any any further than you need. So you try to break out as, as high as you can, of course, for safety. But minimums are there for a reason. And it is pretty cool breaking out at 200 feet, yeah. seeing the runway or seeing the approach lights. That, that's really, that was really cool. Yeah. And it's also nice to see the runway <laughs> instead of going around. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a welcome sight. <laughs> it's a nice big uh, asphalt strip. Oh. See if we can listen to the weather. I don't think so. Uh, I can hardly hear it. The squelch on anyway. Yeah, we're, we're still, 30 miles out. Yeah, 30 miles. 
Their, their, um, their approach is the RNF-3 and 2-1. It's cool. You put RNF-3-1 and it shows you what we, what you could do. Or you go to 2-1. Yeah. And it shows you where it, to it, go to do a U-turn. Yep. Well, it's not a U-turn. What's that called? It's called <laughs> <laughs> reverse, course reversal. Yes, course reversal. Uh, and, and, you know, in uh, regular verbiage, it's a U-turn. Yeah. It's a, it's a <laughs> For non-pilot viewers, you pop a U-E. Yes, pop a U-E. <laughs> Make a U-turn when possible, as a car GPS is saying. When yeah. legal, when legal, make a U-turn. I would, I would guess that they're probably going to be using two one, considering. That's what I'm thinking. General winds in the area are west southwest. A little bumped by the ridge. I, I, I best we're by the ridge. I would imagine now. Yeah, yeah, we're coming over some ridges and about two miles west of the Hudson River. I just got pushed. Way over. When they yeah. get back over. And plus, we're really light. We only have, well, we have uh, 18 gallons. 17 gallons of fuel. Oh. Yeah. More than enough for the flight. Yeah, there you go. Whee! So, we'll, we'll do an approach here. We'll get some gas. Yeah. And then, I think instead of filing, we'll just go VFR back to Orange County. Okay. We'll do the RNAV 2-2. We'll go missed. We'll go missed. We'll do like a lap or two in the hold, depending on how it goes. If you want to do more laps in the hold, okay. we, could do, we could do more. Uh, and then while we're in the hold, we'll set up for maybe the uh, VOR 2-6. Uh, uh, zero eight. You're right. Zero eight. eight. Zero eight is coming uh, from the west. Yeah, VOR. So yeah, we'll set up for the VOR eight. And based on traffic and the pattern, we could maybe take it down two minimums. Maybe I'll I'll tell you when to break it off. Okay. Then we'll go missed again. We'll do a course reversal at Huguenot. Yes, perfect. And then we could set up for the ILS four. And then go missed early because they're using 2 2. 2 2 is active. Right. Okay. So, that sounds good. That's because that's most likely what your check ride is going to be like, considering you're out of Orange County. You'll, uh, you'll do at least two, if not all, of your approaches there at Orange County. Be sold. Um, but we'll talk to the examiner. Hopefully, we get him on the phone and we can confirm that theory. Because when I took my instrument check ride and my double eye check ride, uh, with this examiner, we, for my instrument, we went to Orange County because Sparta VOR went out of service the day of my check ride. Of course. And yeah, of course, right? It just had to. <laughs> the the approach I practice at Sussex, the VOR Alpha, I practiced that about a dozen times. I didn't get to do it on the check ride. I had to do an approach that I've never done. But that's real world stuff. That's real world stuff. Yeah. Same thing for my, my multi-engine check ride. I practiced... Um, Approaches at Ocean Ocean County MJX, and that day we wound up going to Trenton Mercer TTN. Oh, wow. So, but real world stuff. Yep. Always be ready for the unexpected. Unexpected. Well, at least we're 22 miles out. I'm going to start slowing down a little bit here, and let's see if we get the weather now. Uh -huh. Very faint. Yeah. And it's, you know, it's, 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 it stinks because you have to be right on top of the, like 15 miles out, you get it finally. Yeah. I don't know why it's so far out to yeah. get the weather. You know what? It's probably being blocked by some hills and ridges and stuff. Right. That's the reason that we might not be able to get it from this low altitude, but maybe if we were higher at this we distance. We might be able to get it, yeah. Yeah. Because it's line of sight. Yep. yep. I like to, I like to get set up at least 20 miles out with the, what we're doing. Let's see if we can. Uh, no, we can set up for two one and see how visibility one zero. So yeah. That was, yeah. So we'll set up for three. 
one in. Three yeah, we'll go straight in three. So, uh, let's go to, we'll, we'll do it now. Procedure on Yeah, load three. the approach, brief the approach. Yep. Um, we're going to go, well, I guess we'll, which one do you want to go to here? Uh, pull up the approach plate. You got a better uh, yeah, view true. of it on the, on the plate. Let's go to three. Uh, clear, low, one, so two. So probably, temperature, two. You can do it from Crowl, because yeah. there's Crowl there. Yeah. And you're going straight in. Yeah, we'll do that. We'll Crowl it. We'll Crowl it. Activate the approach. And by doing that, it gives you direct Crowl. So we're going to do that. And how many miles are we? Okay. So we are 8.3. I'm going to start slowing down. Yeah, start slowing down, get direct, and brief. Okay, so let's get on course. Uh, zero six seven. We can start going downhill too. Zero six seven. Okay, slow down, baby girl. We'll brief okay, the approach before approach, you descend. Okay. Uh, plates. Start with fan thirty five. Okay, so. Columbia County. So was. Uh, we're going to put the channel, uh, actually it's RNAV, so we're good, it's already good. it'll identify itself. Yep. The <laughs> Excuse me, the course, the approach course is 025, uh, runway, we'll make sure we head to our head, uh, runway length 5350, a touchdown zone 198, and the field elevation is 198, um, and we're going to go to barometer, VNAV, not available when using Albany altimeter setting uh, for Onyx, uh, all your briefing, don't forget those instruments. Yep. Um, don't forget that, those instruments. Look at those instruments and find out what's going on. Oh, let me get, I gotta get over. There you go. We're gonna switch tanks. Um, that's why I wish I had a mobile to help out a little bit, but that's okay. There you go. Um, yeah, you could almost just skim those yeah, those oats are, because most of the time it's about if you don't get the altimeter at this field use this right, higher right. minimums if it's below minus 15 C use these minimums blah right. blah blah but and for cat C D we're cat A that so. doesn't even apply to us yeah but they watch channel 33525 already have that down watch those uh, instruments keep putting yourself in a right turn there that's what's happening that's what's happening um, yes I do um, and the Albany approach is 132.85. Yeah, we can simulate that we're talking to Albany approach. And this approach, climb to 3200 direct J put and hold. Continue climb and hold uh, to 3200. Perfect. Now, what altitude are we going to cross? Uh, what is it, Crowl? Across. Go to the, uh, the profile view at the up bottom. At the bottom here, yep. We're going to approach across Crowl 3200. Alright, so give me to 3200, so Mooney 687 November, descend and maintain 3200 at Crowl. We made it, uh, descend and maintain 3200 uh, to, uh, to Crowl 87 November. Okay, Alright, so let me get the flow down. Things are going to happen quick right now. And what's your next altitude after Crowl? Next altitude is 2200 Nahara. Hey, hey, or, hey. Uh, Harold? Haroy. Haroy. Is that what it says? Haroy? Yeah, H A R O Y. Okay. And then, so you got 3200, 2200, and then what's your next altitude? Next altitude will be 1700 at COPAP. Alright, and COPAP, what's the significance of COPAP there? COPAP's final approach fix. Yep. Glide slope intercept, one dot, gear down. Remember, you have a track angle. Yes. So use that to your advantage, Christopher. Where's that wind coming from, and where are you it's in right relation now, right, to right your now track? It's calm. Okay. Oh. We gotta go left. There you Zero go. six seven. Oh goodness. Now it's not calm. It picked up. Use that heading bug and use that track bug to keep yourself centered. Now we're a quarter mile from Crowl. Our next course is the inbound course. We need to do that turn? Uh, yeah, it's, I, if it makes you do it, then yeah, we'll do it. What the hell? Yeah, it's making you do it, so. Turn, now make a right turn to that course, because right there's your two yep. indication, correct? Yep. And you can see it here on the FMS, it's a right hold, right turns. 
Which is that standard or is left turn standard? Right turn standard. Oh, uh, there you go. Opposite traffic patterns. Traffic patterns are left. Now we're going to go outbound um, on the uh, 205. So you could turn to that 205. 205. And 3,200 feet in the hold. I'm uh, just pulling it back to power two a little bit. Give me that turn 205, because that's the outbound course of the, of the hold there. Go 205. Because your inbound is 025, right? Yep, so you're, yep, you're outbound yep. the reciprocal 205. 205. Two parallel legs. Now this hold is a four nautical mile hold, correct? Yep, yes, yep. So we're monitoring our DME down there yep. from Crow. So okay. at about three and a half, you could start your turn. standard rate turn back to the right, right because you'll pick up 0 0.6, 0 0.7, 0 0.8. You'll stay within four miles. That's the, that's the rule. You have to stay within the four miles. Right. Okay. Now about another half mile to go, then a standard rate turn. Then zero two five. Yep. And once we cross Crowl, what are we going to descend to? We're cross Crowl, we're going to go down to two thousand two hundred. Yes. Okay, because we're making that right turn. Now's a good time to make our right turn. And we're going to zero two, uh, zero 025. Yep. They get bumpy all of a sudden. It's this breeze going over the hills. Updraft, downdraft. Yeah. Now you're just going to fly that needle. So we're going to 025 heading. Which is right there. Oh, we got the boxes come up. Um, and we're looking for a crowd. We're going to go down to uh, 2,200. Once we hit crowd. Very good. Always, yeah, always talk, next step. Once I, once this happens, I'm going to do this. Once the next thing happens, I'm going to do that. All right, looking good so far. One point two from Crow. Good, always peek at that DME, find out how far you are from the next fix, because that's when you're going to do something, is once you cross that. So always look at how much more you have to go. Alright, we are 10 miles to destination. Very good. All right, we are over Crow. Put a flip down to 2200. Nice and easy. The GPS sequence, now we're 3.8 from Roy, down to 2200. This is an LPV. Yes, so this will I have be, the uh, vertical guidance. Yep. Okay, good. Okay, the next is going to be COPAP, and that's 1700. Very down good. Down to. And again, what's the significance of COPAP? COPAP's final approach fix. And what do you do with the final approach fix, or uh, just before the final approach fix? Um, we're going to... Um, uh, flaps and gear. Yeah, flaps and gear. Start configuring. Yep. 
See that right now, I'm 140 knots. I was slowing down way back there, or 140 miles an hour, yeah. 120 knots. Yep. That's, that's not even gear speed. So that's why I got to slow down way back. Yeah. It'll be coming here hot, you know? Yep. Okay, next leg is in seven seconds. Point one. We're approaching 2200. Just perfect, now down to 1700. Perfect timing. Yep. 1700. There you go. That's what a nice stable descent gets you, is, yes, it's an MDA, but if you kind of monitor your speed and I got the vertical, vertical speed. Guidance came alive. Yep. Okay, looking good. We're going to get the COPAP at 1700. You're on the, uh, you're oh, on the, so the, I can go the slope I can keep now. going yeah, down. Yeah. yeah. That's right. Just saying we're so you see how that same. glide slope is one dot below you? Yep. You so can pull power, put some flaps down, put the gear down, down, start slowing down so that you can carriage. poke yep. the nose down. Perfect. And we'll do one, two, approach flaps. And then we're down, we're good, we'll go down to minimums now. There you go. And now, yeah. Point the nose so at gas that needle. Under carriage. Prop. It's coming back to neutral. Very good. Okay. See how it dives real quick. This plane. Yeah. Okay. We're we're left the course. We're going to correct. And just remember, pitch, power, and needles. We're three and a half miles out. Very good. And we'll go eyes up. You could lift that hood at uh, like 550 feet, just above okay. minimums. Okay, we're at 85 knots. Good. Monitoring the localizer. The localizer. Which, I mean, I'm saying that because... Yep. And a glide slope, I yep. mean... It's not considered a glide slope, it's considered a... Glide path. Glide path. Yeah, GP. Or an app. Oh, yeah, so that, that horizontal is not a glide slope, but... Uh, I'm sorry, a localizer, but... Oh. For lack of a better term at the moment. Okay. Right lead, right of course, to whether correct. And it's above. Check that glide slope. Stops. Check that glide, there you go. Point the nose at the magenta line. Let me trim up a little bit more. Gas undercarriage, what's your prop speeds? Your seatbelts are on? Belts on, yep. And we were still in IMC. Hey, okay, we're all good here. A little more speed. We're looking good, we're all lined up, looks like here. Yeah, looking lined up to me. 80, 80 knots, looking good. Eighty knots, looking good. On the approach. Columbia County traffic. Mooney, Ace member, is about uh, two miles on the RNAV, or three approach, full stop one. Uh, Columbia County. Okay. 500. Looking good. Approaching altitude. Approaching minimums. Approaching 200 feet for minimums. A little, light, a little left. Uh, uh, you can go eyes up. Okay, eyes up. Perfect. Pretty good. But two two whites, two reds. Yep, on on path. That's my phone again. And now land us. We'll get We're some fuel. gas, undercarriage, mixture, prop, speed, seatbelts are on. Columbia County traffic, but uh, for final three. Full stop. Minimums. There's minimums there. Yep. Right. 70 over the fence is good. Gear check. Oh. 
reached it. Nice. Beautiful. All right, we're at Columbia County. We made it. He got we us it. here. We got us here. He managed to do it without looking outside. I know. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, pop that door, my friend. Yep. Orange, uh, we're going to go back to Orange County a little bit, get some fuel. So that's it. That was our first video as you, as my instructor. Thank yeah. you. Mike, yeah. Mike, Mike, Mike. Are we going to record on the way back? Good. I have yeah. batteries. I can't use this plug because of all this feedback I get. So if yeah. anybody is an instructor here, Mike, Mike. Yep, I gotcha. Based out of Morristown. No, this is not a paid program. You do not pay me to say that. <laughs> <laughs> Based out of Morristown. All right, we'll clear a few seconds. So, yeah, that approach was good. Um, Columbia County traffic, pretty clear. Two, three, Columbia County. Yeah, talk yourself through next step. Yeah. Next. Next step. I'm, I'm X miles from this. I have to cross it at this altitude. Once I cross it, I can just send it out to this altitude. Uh, and then, once I cross this, final approach fix. Um, Ear flaps. I can then descend down to my minimums of blank. Hey, 500. And is it a DA, an MDA? Do you know the difference? DA, MDA? Like if you come down to your DA, take now, dude. Do you have to go missed immediately if you do not see the one way? Or can you level off and continue at that altitude? You can level off at that altitude. On a DA? No, not on a DA, on the MDA. Yes, on an MDA, a minimum descent altitude, you could descend to, let's say it's 500 feet, you could descend to 500 feet, right. level off, and fly 500 feet to the runway until you until the missed approach point. Right. If you see the runway, land, if not, you have to go missed. But on a DA, you come down to your DA, no runway, go, go missed. Up. So it's like, it's a V, you come down, DA, no runway, go missed. But an MDA is you come down, level off, no runway, go missed. 